Alright. You gonna commentate, Jared? TKO Revan versus NWA Danby. All right. Now you gotta hope they sit in the right spots. Yeah. Well, I have a swap button. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, good stuff beating Alejandro. Yeah, um, it, it was uh, trying to keep calm. That's, that's yeah. my main focus was, yeah. you know, if I'm going to have to play against a character I think that is really frustrating, you know, if you get frustrated, it's just only yeah. harder. You really, uh, I think what was really crucial in that third game where you kind of messed him up is you got that early kill. That, oh, yeah, that was yeah, That, so like, nice. set the tone of the match. You didn't have to, uh, have you to didn't approach. have to approach. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you see, I was just you like, You still no. approached, but, like, the <laughs> fact that, he couldn't just sit there and wait for you to roll into his like down tilt or whatever bullshit. Yeah. It uh, yeah. I think, I think it, it really showcased the importance of getting an early lead Huge as Ness lead. against DLC. <laughs> oh my God! Yeah, yeah. It's it's pretty rough. Ness has the ability to do some major damage, but yeah. to get to that point is a lot of work. Yeah, I agree. I figured it out. So I I figured yeah. It out. I actually was what watching took you that so long? and. And my analysis from your Luigi game is that Luigi just sucks, and <laughs> all you can do is roll in, and if Eddie just does something that punishes roll in, you just get hit. And Luigi's just not that good. And the fact that he didn't have to use Gordos wasn't even important to the match, really. Uh, okay, we do we do have this going. Yeah, Cloud's just... Yeah, I, I was saying on commentary that you might switch to Cloud, so I'm glad you did. All right, we're gonna. We're gonna All right, Revan and Danby. Um, he's Danby's pulling out his uh, Yoshi. Revan actually historically doing pretty well against Danby's Yoshi. He was. He had like yeah. his. Uh, I would say like his prime, the Revan prime. Yeah. Because he was starting to take sets from Danby. Yeah, during the Revan prime, I would say that he he had he was almost favored against the Yoshi. Um, yeah. And he has taken a set from the cloud before. You know, I have a theory. I like to, I like to think that uh, Dammy started playing more Yoshi when we said that that was. Oh, he fucking. Oh. That was pro as hell. Uh, okay, uh, like I was gonna say, he stopped playing Yoshi, or he started playing more Yoshi after we told him we wouldn't put that as his main on the PR poster. Oh really? And I have a feel. It, it just, it just correlated That's well funny. that after that he started yeah. playing more Yoshi. Yeah. De I definitely think of him as a Yoshi main now. Oh, we all know. Well, he was definitely, uh, for a minute there, he was like Cloud, 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 or Corrin, way yeah. more often than his Yoshi. Even his Kirby. But now, I'd say his Yoshi's most common. It's going to be difficult for him to win this matchup. Uh, having such a deficit against Mewtwo in a floating match. Oh. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I, th well, I the think, thing is, is I think like, Revan's right. being too impatient. With, with his lead, he should have just, I mean, camped him out with Shadow Ball. Like, that's what... Your Shadow Ball camp beats Egg Camp pretty well. Hey guys, opinion. I can't hear myself think. Sorry, man, I couldn't hear <laughs> no. what you were saying at all. Yeah. I'm like over here trying to comment. All right. Oh. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh, we, we oh, have man. our jump. Oh god. I, okay. That was so close. Sometimes you have to I'm accept the hit, like you like you know it's gonna happen. Okay. But well, Dammy's really making this comeback, making really making a case for I can beat anyone at the weekly uh, if I just. I just have to want it, and then I beat them. <laughs> I mean, he's used to SDing anyway. So. Yeah, he, he's, <laughs> he's used to this. Oh deficit. no way! Okay, that was close. You think he dies up smash now? Jab up smash? Oh, absolutely! With this amount of rage, he could do it. Oh, that was close. Using Mewtwo's mobility in this definitely really helps. Like Yoshi's oh, fast what are you doing? in the air okay. and pretty fast on the ground, but just like being able to get Ooh. in. All right, he lost his lead. Oh no! Oh my God! Oh, well, there's Atlas. the SD. Yeah, that's, okay. that's it. We, we take okay, well, Revan's going to take that game. As, as, and, as uh, we say, we take those. Yeah, we take those. I, no, uh, no BS here. I'm, I don't know, I am still don't have a ton of faith in Mikey to win this, but I think Revan he only has to win this one game. Yeah, this, this is, this is uh, it. Uh, pretty sure it's still best. Yeah, no, it is, because... There's more than four people left, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you play the winner of this. D take some notes. Yes, see what's, see what's going on. I do. 
so that's one of the reasons I'm rooting for Mikey. But <laughs> <laughs> that'll be a lot easier. Yeah. And I know Probably. You, you've done well with your Diddy. Yeah, in the past I have. It, I haven't played Mikey since Geared for Glory, though. Yeah, I mean, both in him tournament. and myself kind of took a break when we transitioned over to Yeah, Acid. but he was playing here for a while, and I just, we just, he kind of hit a slump and wasn't making it to me for a while, and I was playing like the best I ever had, and I was like second seed back During the Smile then. Prime. Yeah, that was the Smile Prime. Back, the Smile Prime was when... I lived with someone who would play Smash with me for hours every day. Oh, so <laughs> your just fundamentals were on point. Yeah, I was just always warm and like. Oh. During during the Smile Prime, I went on a stretch where I went 6-0 with Elrox. Wow. That was like. Yeah, I remember yeah. you were very confident towards back him. You're then. Just I was like, yeah. you know, I, I got your number. Yeah, but after I I let I left. Um, and went to Taiwan actually, and when I came back, everyone was beating me. So, what happened in Taiwan, Sam? What I don't happened? Know, dude. <laughs> I, maybe I got some bad Taiwanese juju. <laughs> but back to the match. Uh, yeah, Tanner, we need, uh, we need Danby to... is doing a lot better this match. Need to see Revan find a kill option here. Yeah, well, Mewtwo has no shortage of kill options, but um, Tanner or Danby is. You know, infamously, infamously good at uh, weaving around in the air. So that really makes it a lot harder for. That's gonna help. Uh, I was gonna say it makes it a lot harder for Mewtwo's grounded kill options, such as up smash or up throw to hit. But he hit him with a aerial Woo! one, being his forward air. He did not mean to go below the. Stage. No, no, no. Yeah. You can tell by the fastball. Yeah, he still made it. Did he just up air out of the? <laughs> up air shield or something Woo! like that. Up air is frame five, I believe. It kills insanely early. You know what I've learned? Uh, top players do not like Yoshi. Yeah, because because nobody plays Yoshi, and he has a lot of like deceptive frame data where it looks like he's gonna do something punishable, but it's not punishable. All right, what do you, how is he? He can still beat him here, definitely. It's gonna be hard though. I would, if I were him. Look, there's three and a half minutes left in the match. There's no way this thing is gonna time out. I mean, if anything, you, you want to you, you want to use the clock. Ah, uh, he got him with that fat nair. And that's going to be the game for Danby. It's one one now. Next you game, we'll take it. That pointing that out, I don't think a lot of people at our weekly look at the time as a a, a valuable option. You know, like yeah. if you have the time and you the lead, yeah. don't approach. Practice and your defensive options. Conversely, if you're down and you feel like you have to approach, but there's four minutes left, take some time. No, make be make patient. it elaborate. Like, you know, like you don't gotta look. Run the clock a little bit. It doesn't matter if you're behind. It's not like anyone's, like, there's no taunt. Like, you don't have to run towards your opponent no. at any time unless it's, like, it's all about the very w, man. risk of timing if out. If you can get the W, even if you have to go the long way yeah. around, it still counts. Like, had Mikey, uh, or had Revan decided to just camp a little more there, like, throw some Shadow Balls, he could have gotten some extra damage that would have put Danby in kill range. Yo, we got Spi Arm from top eight today. Yo, who did he beat in losers? Uh, only uh, Shiki, but he beat he beat uh, Noshmo in uh, winners. In winners, yeah. How did he? How was? He lost mind, to dude. you. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> oh. He did, he was close to beating me. His Bowser took a game from my DK. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, I've, gotta, I've watched a lot of Bowser DK during the great cheese baller yeah. versus. No, I actually think I'm pretty good at Bowser DK, but he he played well. He he was like hitting me off stage, and he also got a shield break, which of course helped because Bowser can kill it at like zero from a shield break. Yeah, absolutely. But the second game, or the third game rather, the second game that I played as Bowser. Um, I went Diddy Kong, and I was really messing him up, like super bad. But then I I went off stage, and I ended up get like basically SDing. Um, that was not on purpose. Yeah, I'm. It never is. Oh. Oh wow. Every time. Yeah. I'm so scared. All right. Well, Whoa. Danby's running the percent on Mikey right now, or uh, I think Revan's trying right to now. find an option wherever okay, but, he can get it. But he, he he's in up throw range now, so that forces Danby to play in a what uh a really aerial style that makes him more susceptible to getting hit by forward air, in my opinion. Or uh, up smash as an anti-air. Oh, oh, no. He's very close to dead. 
it, if I'm revving right now, he oh, he's dead. It. Yeah, he's dead. And that's going to be the set for Tanner. Dan B. Man. I man, he just like, he, oh, you 